Um, I want to talk to you about the safeties. You must feel very comfortable with two veteran guys who played a lot of football at Navy in Rayon Lane and then B.D. Williams. It definitely helps everybody. You know, we have guys that have a lot of experience. Like they say, there's there's no substitute for experience. Um, those guys have been through a lot of games, a lot of wars, uh, and they're excellent guys. You know, from a leadership standpoint, from a knowledge standpoint, they're great mentors to the younger kids. So uh, it's been great having those guys around. So what what is the gain for Navy as a defense when you have two safeties with that type of experience? Can you do different things? Are you able to expand the package when you have guys that are that veteran and savvy? Uh, I think it just gives us flexibility more than anything else you know we have confidence those guys can make the checks can make calls they can make in-game adjustments which is critical uh, so it, more than anything I think it settles the guys in front of them down a little bit and in the coaches as well so um, coach uh, Newberry was telling us on Monday during a press conference that you're probably gonna put the uh, headset or the microphone in the helmet of either Ray or MPD is that speak a lot about how much they think of them and what kind of leaders they are on the field that they would do that because I kind of thought it would be Ramos it, we, we went back and forth with, with Ramos and Ray and, uh, and Beattie as well. It just had to do a little bit with how we call our defense. It allows Ray uh, or Beattie to see the formations, make their checks early, uh, and they can handle it. You know, mm -hmm. some guys, it can throw them off a little bit emotionally or mentally, and, and they're steady. They really, really actually enjoyed having the microphone, uh, the ability for Coach to talk to them in their ear. So last year was your first year coaching him, but Ray Lane, what does he bring to the table? Uh, he's a he's an excellent player you know let's start there uh, he has explosiveness he can cover he can tackle he gives us a lot of flexibility uh, a lot of safeties can either play in the box or they can play with depth he can do both uh, which makes him unique you know obviously it's going to give him some opportunities to, to play for a long time hopefully so a guy like that who's an all-conference performer how do you tell him that he needs to get better I mean at the end of the season you probably tell every player in your position group this is what you need to work on this is you know, where you need to improve but is there how can a guy like Ray improve upon himself oh, they have coaches in the NFL too Patrick Mahomes has a coach right. so Patrick Mahomes needs a coach Ray Lane needs a coach so mm -hmm. uh, and he understands that he takes coaching uh, he, he's very accepting that he needs to improve and, and at the end of the day he's not just competing against the guys at Navy he's not just competing against the guys in the AAC he's trying to be the best safety in the United States so that's his goal and that's my motivation to try to get him to be better as well was there anything in particular that you thought that uh, Ray could do better you know just consistency you know there's some things with pad level um, there's some things with tackling that he knows he needs to improve on uh, that you just need to make sure you're consistent you know and that's the biggest thing he makes a lot of big splash plays we just need him to do it day in and day out so but he is a game changer can be yeah most definitely he's he's an excellent athlete he's an excellent football player he understands the game of football and he changes games he saves touchdowns he you know creates turnovers for our team to give our offense the ball back so he completely changes the game uh, on every level and what about MBD? last year was his first full season at safety he kind of dabbled in it the year before but last year you know did he really come a long way as a safety last season i know he's pretty playing pretty high level ball at the end of the year he really did uh he he got way more much more comfortable as the season progressed he's played a lot of football you know but mainly at corner but last year as the season progressed he came a long ways in terms of his understanding, his feel for the game, the timing, the communication, everything that goes along with the position. Um, but he's he's an excellent player. He's done a good job. Who do you think are Embiid's attributes? What does he bring to the table? Uh, I, I think his prior experience at corner really helps. His uh, coverage guy. His coverage skills. Uh, you know, you feel very comfortable matching him one-on-one -on -one with slot receivers. Uh, and he's, he's more physical and he's tougher than people think. So, you know, he has the ability to, to give us, uh, you know, a lot of flexibility in our defense. So the great news is you have two really veteran guys, seniors, and been around and played a lot of games. But behind them, I don't know how much experience you have. Who, who's running kind of, you know, three, four? Who, who's battling to try to get on the bus, so to speak? <laughs> Or well, get on the field. Get on the field. We have uh, Giuseppe Sessi uh, has been rotating in, in quite a bit. Uh, Matt, Matthew Saliga as well. Uh, Josh Switzer. These guys are all second year guys and their improvement has been incredible. I mean, to be honest with them. And they, they understand this. They came a long ways even since the spring. Uh, understanding the playbook, understanding uh, the culture here. You know, and, and those older guys in BD and Ray really set a high standard, and everyone knows that they have to live up to that. But uh, we have some young guys that people are going to be surprised with when they get on the field. Well, does it concern you that none of those guys you just mentioned has any varsity experience as player to game? I mean, that they're very raw. Yeah, they are. They are. So you have to start somewhere. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, I think every great player, you know, has his first snap. So uh, it, it's always, you know, like I said earlier, there's there's no substitute for experience. They don't have that yet. But they've played in big games. A lot of those guys went to excellent high schools, uh, very big programs. They played in front of big crowds. So, you know, when their moment comes, they'll be ready. They'll be ready. So what about you? Settling in? uh, You've you've been here a year. How do you feel about, you know, do you feel better yourself, more comfortable here and with the whole program? Uh, I I definitely feel more comfortable. Uh, I've coached for a very long time. But at the end of the day, this is a unique place. You know, uh, there's unique, uh, you know, requirements to get in. Uh, from a recruiting standpoint, there's unique demands of the players with their time, uh, but we have some of the greatest kids in the world. We have a great staff. Uh, our head coach sets the standard. You know, uh, the culture here is unparalleled as far as I'm concerned. I've coached for, like I said, I've probably been at 10 Division One programs and the NFL. I've never seen a culture as solid uh, and as fundamentally sound as this place. So uh, I'm excited to be here, and, and it's been a great learning experience for me too. Can you talk about you and Ray and what you bring to the table as far as you have so many games played and so much experience under your belt? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, I would just say that the two of us just have, like you said, the, the experience and like the knowledge that we have gained over the years. It, it obviously is great for like an entire defense, not just the both of us. Um, and just being able to expand on that each day and also like, just give it to the younger guys, it, it, it obviously just gives you um, a, a bigger a bigger step in the right direction for the future, not just for you know this year. And so it's, it's been a blessing and we're both grateful to be in the position that we're in. And yeah, we look forward to this year. With all the snaps you've played both in games and in practice, do you guys have a connection? Can you almost sometimes just look at each other and know what each is thinking, what each is going to do. Are you that so much on the same page? Yes, sir, definitely. Um, I mean, uh, to be honest, there's not much we do that, you know, we, we're silent in the sense mm-hmm. or that we need to just like know what someone else is going to do. But we do know each other very well when it comes to being on the field and even off the field. And so, you know, understanding like maybe the mindset behind something or, or being able to come back to the sideline and talk about, you know, like, I already know what you were thinking on this play, like, mm-hmm. you know, what happened. That that obviously just helps, like, tremendously for both of us and just moving forward um, and, again, like, playing the next snap, like, a lot quicker. So. so after your first full season at safety, do you feel a lot more comfortable in the position? I mean, last year was somewhat of a transition year for you from corner to safety, but I would imagine now you feel a lot more, you know, just totally comfortable in this in that position. Yes, sir, I do. Uh, the experience from last year, well, you know, I, obviously I, I played corner, and so or like corner in my first two years, and so that already gave me knowledge of the defense. And then just you know, getting tossed into the fire at safety, like there, there's nothing that will mold you more as a person than having to adjust on the fly. Mm-hmm. And so that definitely helped a lot for this year. And I, I would say that. You know, I, I'm more than ready to, to go this year, and you know, I'm, I'm not even looking back. So what can you say about a guy like Ray Lane? I mean, he's not just a great player at Navy. He's probably one of the best players in the entire conference. He might want to be one of the better safeties in the country. What can you say about Ray Lane? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, he, <laughs> he's, a, he's a character for sure, um, but he's a, he's a bright kid. I, I personally, early on before, like, really getting to know him very well. Like, I, you could never really tell, like, if he was, like, you know, really locked in just because he's, you know, he's the reserve guy. But he knows his stuff. And mm-hmm. and it, it's, it shows all the time on the field. And this year, like, being in those leadership roles, we've both, like, taken that, like, very seriously. And it shows up big time. And I just love, like, for him, like, I just love, like, how much he's, like, how far he's come from being like a raw talented kid to now like so developed and and having all the knowledge and being able to you know branch out with with all of his um his talents like it's it's amazing so you know it's it's great for the whole defense like i i love being able to like talk to him and like you know have him right next to me yeah it's it's a great thing what do you think makes him so good and such a playmaker on the field uh i would say is his knowledge is like knowledge is power at the end of the day it, it doesn't really matter how talented you are if you don't know where you're going on the play or if you don't know how to you know leverage the ball a certain way or or uh who to communicate with like things like that if, if you don't know that then you know the talent can end up being wasted but he's extremely consistent 
and he's knowledgeable and he's not like afraid to to he's not afraid to make a mistake mm -hmm. and then just get it corrected the next time and, and so he's obviously like learned a lot and grown a lot and I you know I I look up to I look up to him for it and that's you know that's where we bond so so what did you want to work on during the offseason? When you sat down with Coach Lewis after the season, he probably said you can get better at this, you need to improve upon this. Anything in particular you wanted to work on and improve upon going into the season? Personally, just certain techniques. Um, like, you know, obviously having one year of playing safety, it, there's some things that can be gray or that I need to work on going into the next year. So just for certain, you know, play calls and schemes that we have, just having the right technique every time and just being consistent with it. So right. consistency at, at, at that is probably the biggest thing that I worked on. Um, and I mean, that's that's really it. It's just the consistency with the small things and techniques. So do you strive? I mean, as Ray sets a high bar, do you strive to meet that? I mean, if he makes interceptions, you want to make some interceptions, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, we, we definitely compete and we talk about it all the time. Um, and, that, and that's what makes us better every day. And so, you know, we'll, we'll see once the season comes. Uh, but I expect a lot from both of us and the entire team and the defense for sure. So so the good news I was talking about, Coach Green, is that you have two veteran safeties. The bad news is a lot, nobody behind you, and Ray has played a snap of varsity football. Do you think these guys are going to be okay? Uh, I, I wouldn't say there's nobody behind us. Um, you know, maybe they haven't played a snap, but, but they're more than ready. Like, they, they've been consistent. This entire offseason, they've been coachable. They've taken, they've taken the coaching, applied it. Um, they understand, and that's the one thing that uh, Ray and I have talked about, like in all of our like, meetings that we've had, is that like you guys like need to be ready. Like you, you never know. You know, football is one of those sports, and they have taken pride in that. And every day they come out here to go to work, and so I, myself, Ray. And the coaching staff like has full confidence in, in the next guy.